What's going on guys? Today we're going to be reviewing the Small Soldiers um, action figures as well as all toys included as much as I own or have in my house. I just came from the gym. It's pretty hot outside and it's hot here. You know, I got the AC on blast and I'm still sweating. Maybe because I'm just so nervous to uh, actually show you guys my collection or not nervous but a bit more excited. Um, but let's get to it. So, I'm going to start off with my oldest, oldest, oldest um, toys that I got from the film. And I'm going to work my way up in order, best I can. Yeah, some of these toys are unopened. Some of them are opened. I've been collecting these toys from this film since I was about two years old. I am 24 now. I just love this movie like I, I still do today I remember I had it in the VHS and I would replay it so many times that the VHS completely broke <laughs> of how much times I would rewind it but I love this film so much and I'm one of the biggest fans um, I'm gonna start reviewing it with by the way before I start I am a hundred percent team commando elite I love the commando elite you could argue with me that the Gorgonites may be better, whatever. Debate with me. I don't care. I like the, the Gorgonites, but I love the Commandos that much more. Like, I, I just, the idea of these soldiers just in uniform with guns, shooting, you know, bombs and explosives and firecrackers and nail guns is just, it just, I probably, if I was in the film, I would probably get myself killed just due to the fact of how much I would admire them that they would probably just shoot me if I was in the end of the film where they were high, everybody was in the house hiding. If I was a neighbor or something and I saw a couple commando elite, they'll probably kill me or capture me or whatever and I would probably die happy because, <laughs> you know, they got me. But let's review these toys. So, right off the bat, this is the oldest toy I have. This box does not belong to this chip hazard. This box actually belongs to this chip hazard right here. And this chip hazard, I'm not gonna move him too much, nor am I gonna move the other archer because I have them positioned in a way where I could just display them on my bookshelf and it looks dope, like it looks epic. And I like how it looks. So I'm not gonna move it too much because when I moved it, it took about nine, it took about five to 10 minutes to get them into the position that I thought looked more movie accurate and, and more nat neutral. And I tried to do it before, but it would fall over and tumble and I gotta balance him out. So I'm gonna, this, I just brought this toy out because he's more new and recent purchase than this one. This one I had since I was like two or four years old. I don't remember. My dad got it for me. I was the happiest camper ever. But just to let you guys know, they made two individual chip hazards. Yes, they both look exactly identical. They both come with the pistol and the the rifle. The difference is the phrases. Now, don't just say this guy is new and he's old, which is it, which is true. But basically, he says different phrases than this one. I just put this one in the box because I didn't want him lying around. You know, I can't really display him. He don't look as well with the paint as this one because this one is more new but yeah this one is older it's dustier I try to clean it off best I can I actually when I was little I drew on his face because I wanted him to be like I wanted the drawing on his on the side of his face to represent how he looked in the end of the film when he was survived the explosion and he was ready to fight you know Archer and I had to remove that paint from I had to remove it from his face and I did but I love the uh, price tag on this you know wait back to the phrases. I'm sorry I get carried away so easily if you could hear his phrases he says the following Now that last phrase is not really his voice. That sounds like someone else. Does it take away from the figure? Absolutely not. 
absolutely not. I love this figure. I mean, the accessories keep falling down, but, you know, I actually lost the accessories to the old figure. That's why I have him in, I have it in this guy's hand from the new figure, and yeah, I got this one new in box, so I just took him out the box for display purposes. When it comes to playing with these figures, you could move him at more accurately and efficiently if you use both hands instead of one. If you're using one hand, it's just a little bit difficult to grab, you know, him and Archer and just go at it. You know, it's a little bit harder to do that. You want to use two hands to kind of, you know, how do I say this? You know, like articulate his head and move him around like with two hands. That'll be more better if you're trying to do a little battle with, with maybe your little cousin or something. You give him Archer and you beat Chip Hazard. And, that's the way to go. But, as I was saying, give me a second. Trying to fix them there. As I was saying, you know, this one, the batteries, I've changed the batteries countless times. I think it's because the toy is so old and I've used it so much and I've played with it so much that no matter what type of batteries I put, new or used, you can't really hear him. I, you can't even hear him. I don't even think you guys could. But he says different phrases and the other one says completely different phrases. But they're both identical. Um, not complaining. A lot of people probably don't even know that. That they made two different ones. But yeah. I always keep the box now. And they got all the other figures here displayed. So amazing I love how each one brings their own individual kind of like you know background story of what's going on it says he's big he's bad he's loaded with battle cries sounds and powerful punches he's awesome a tent hut major chip has reporting for duty sir um, it just says a whole bunch of stuff you know menacing leader of the commando elite chip hazard prepares a victorious assault against the heroic Gorgonites um, Locating their secret base, the relentless major reports commando target those Gorgonites. You know, it's just it's perfect. You know, I, I got to keep him in the box. Again, this is not the same one from the box. The box is newer. He's more used. I just put him in the box for the display purposes. Um, like I said, you know, he just stands out a little bit more. There's articulation in the head, elbow joint, all that. He makes a sound of the gun. But once I flip the switch back here, it's a punching sound. So the gun is more accurate because he has the rifle in hand. Um, but yeah, there's articulation everywhere. I just don't want to, you know, move him too much because it did take a minute for me to put him in um, the bookshelf, my bookshelf for display. But yes, the pistol, you could also put it in the holster. It goes right there and slides right out, no problem. They did these figures pretty good. I've seen people do paint jobs on them. I'm not the one to really go for it, but hey, if you want to, go ahead. Now, this is Archer. Same thing, articulation in the head, elbow joint, wrist joint, shoulders, 360 spin around. I put rubber band on the arrow crossbow because I don't want to lose it just in case it does fall off but articulation there as well with the wrist same thing on the other side same thing goes here for the back switch if you put it for the top it's a punching sound if you put it for the bottom switch it's a knife sound because he is holding a knife same thing articulations in the um, feet as well as the knees i just position him that way just so you know one thing i do like about archer that they didn't give chip hazard is that there's articulation around the waist Completely. There is no articulation of the waist whatsoever on Chip Hazard. Like, there is none at all. He's as hard as nails. He doesn't move. But when I did get this box, it came with the original price tag. And it says $30 there. Toys R Us brand. Now, I don't think it was $30 I would always mention it to my father because he was the one to purchase it for me I said how much was it really he said it was around $60 I don't know if that's true or not 
but it says thirty dollars here maybe back then in the 90s thirty dollars was like sixty dollars <laughs> you know what i mean like anyone could have 30 could get thirty dollars now but you know not bad it the box did come with magazine displaying star wars you know figures from the 90s we got some dinosaurs batman forever that movie came out that year too um gi joe bunch of cars nerf guns and they got a small soldiers here part of the magazine right here um i got all of them except for that in insidiac the only insidiac i do have is the bulked up version of it and this was actually one of my first toys that i got from small soldiers i think he's a later released much later released figure the one you see here is an early released that one spins his wrist while this one spins his you know arms around and around and around and i actually like it but i lost the accessories when i was a kid so i i heard it i seen that it brought like some sort of shield and it would spin its hand its arm so fast with the shield that it'll create like a weapon in a way but yeah like i like this one a little bit better with the um color art he's more bulked up more bigger more looks a little bit more like him he does in the film um now when we go back to the magazine we got a whole bunch of these figures just you know i'm just going to show you guys the two electronic that I showed you, the Chip Hazard and the Archer, they're both 12 inches electronic talking. I'm not mad that they made only those two. They are the leaders. They do stand out from the film. If they made all that from the Commandos and Gorgonites, all 12 inches, the six inches wouldn't have sold as, off, as much. So I actually like the six inches and I prefer them more. Especially when I was younger and I would play with them, you could really, you could do a lot more with one hand as opposed to with the 12 inch you need two hands to operate one doll if you're really going to play with it efficiently and accurately um i wanted the ground assault vehicle right there that's pretty hard to find but i do got the bus all tank now they got the deluxe mini play sets which are right here i'm not really much of a fan just due to the fact that they're pretty little and you could lose them very quickly um, it doesn't really catch my attention to be honest with you whatsoever they got an archer that's about almost three um, feet but it's two and a half it's right here I don't like it as much just due to the fact that the paint job don't look as good as the other archer they do have a water gun I'm not interested they had a radio control archer which is this one here um, not really a fan because it only goes forward and back it don't go sideways I don't know it just it just doesn't appeal to me you know they even have the other 12 inch figures which is also chip and archer but they don't look as good as the talking ones they are electronic for instance right here for instance um, the chip hazards costume is in uniform it's not even movie accurate that archer doesn't look as good as the other electronic archer so I really wouldn't probably wouldn't get it um, but yeah that's that as for archer 12 inch if I didn't already people were complaining that he has this emblem on his chest honestly I don't really care for it it doesn't take away from the figure but here are his phrases So it's pretty cool. Uh, the crossbow could have a little bit been a little bit better designed, but it looks dope. I'm not complaining. Um, if we come over here now, this is a funny thing. I actually do have his arrow, his crossbow. Um, but this figure, I played with it so much that the front buckle disappeared. It broke right off. I can't even stand this toy straight. Well, it did now, but. I would stand him and he would tilt over because I played with him so much that his limbs are like loose. 
they're not holding steady in place. They're pretty much loose. But I played with him a lot, and I actually ordered another one. And this one was affordable. This one was 30 bucks. When it comes to the toys I'm showing you in box, mint condition, I will do a review on them where I unbox them, and I would uh, show you exactly the inside of the toy, you know, break it down more. But I like how each one... If you have the box or are able to see it, each one has a unique concept art and it looks it looks so dope. The concept art just looks like you could have made a comic book series with this with this small soldiers, you know, um, movie. You could have made a comic book. Don't even have humans don't even got to be involved, you know. You, even even an animated cartoon series would have been cool. You don't need any humans involved. All you really do need is the toys, Commandos and Gorgonites nice going at it, you know, in Gorgon, at a, at a military base, you know, that would have been cool, it would have been cool to see, but like I said, these are the other toys featuring, I don't have Flat Chew, I honestly am not interested in Flat Chew, due to the fact that he was only seen in the beginning of the film, and... He did not move. He was just used for display purposes or representation. When Erwin was describing him, he doesn't move. He doesn't do none of that. So I don't know. He doesn't really. He didn't stand out to me in the film. I, I, I get him. I don't know if I'll get him quite yet. But if I do, I, I don't know. I probably won't take him out the box. I'll just leave him there. Um, but yeah, every other figure there I got except for Insidiac and Flat Shoe. Yeah, you know. Our mint condition I will do an unboxing like I said of the ones that are in the box let's go back oh by the way just gonna quickly show you the third oldest toys I have it was this archer and this brick bazooka you put a missile on each one and you would squeeze them and they would just shoot at each other you would just squeeze them because you're like sponges in a way and it would just shoot at each other. They do have a um, punch it and chip hazard version of it. Uh, it's hard to find. Um, I seen it in eBay a couple months ago. Didn't get my hands on it. Not too interested, to be honest with you. It's just you know something to look at. Now, this is another one of my oldest figures. I lost the accessories to a lot of my old used figures, just to put it out there. It had rockets on its back and you could actually put it in its hands and shoot it. That was dope, but the paint job is kind of disappearing and wearing off on Nick Nitro. Nick Nitro was one of my, f I'm not gonna say he's my favorite commando. My favorites will be Chip Hazard, number one, obviously. Um, Kip Killigan as my second and Brick Bazooka as my third. This one could come in fourth, he could come in fourth place. You know, I'm still upset they didn't make a, a, a Butch Me Hood or Link Static. It's it, a six-inch figure by Kenner Hasbro. It upsets me still by today. Um, they just gambled with the Gorgonites trying to promote and market them more. But the fans really like the Commandos a lot more than they did with the Gorgonites. And it kind of backfired on them, unfortunately. Um, yeah, those are the figures I have. They are old. Now, the ones that are new... They're anywhere between a year, two years, to a couple months new. I actually found this slam fist in a yard sale. No club, no rock to slam. Just the figure alone. Articulation in the head. Um, the hands could go up. Same thing for that one. He turns around. The purpose for it was to put the ball right here so he could shoot it. Um pretty cool figure i actually got on ebay the used version where it does have the ball and you could take that ball out put it in its hand as so and you would be able to turn him turn him turn him, and then boom you could shoot it easily now i dropped the ball give me a quick second so i could find it perfect so that's pretty much it for that one you know Slam Fist, he's not one of my favorite Gorgonites. My favorite Gorgonite will be Archer for number one, Insidiac for number two, and Punch It for number three. 
and I actually do have a used punch it. I also got on eBay, no accessories whatsoever, but he has articulation in his arms. Let's turn him around completely. Uh, the head too could be turned around. The head could actually go up this way and down completely. His lower body is like a little ball. It just moves that way. No articulation whatsoever on the feet or legs. So gentle giant here. It actually comes with a claw that you put will put in that hole right there and a missile to shoot from the top connected to his head. I actually do have the new version of it and I actually got to connect on eBay and I ended up getting this guy, this whole thing for like 80 bucks and, and in reality this stuff costs over $200 mint in new new mint in, in, in its box unopened and here it is here um, punch it comes with the claw the missile I still haven't opened it today I just have it for display purposes again I will open all my unopened new figures I would do an individual video unboxing them it's just to show you how it looks now I like each one how it has a little description of you know the figure so basically you know if you seen the movie it comes with scratch it scratch and punch it are like this um, scratch it you could only get him if you get the power drill cycle which I have actually do have and it's advertised in the back if you could see it right there actually advertised in the back but yeah like it has its individual uh, background and backstory where it says punch it with firing assault canyon function the the offensive stra uh, strategic I can't even see because the flash I'm staring at the flash so hard <laughs> that I'm looking at these words and, and I can't even read them myself specialty colossals giant and power punches the gorgonite's gentle giant but do not let the gorgonite the gentle fool you can't even see these words I could I wish I could read some of it but I can't I put the flash on my um, phone to record because the room's lighting isn't so good but yeah I like how it just advertises the toys in the back this is a deluxe figure um, pun, uh, punch it is punch it and, and slam fish are deluxe figures as well as the vehicle us uh, the vehicles um, the power drill cycle and the bus all tank which you also saw there it's the tank right here I got them both and they are also those are the only four deluxe figures now the next one I got is this archer articulation in the head can't go too much because the hair the arms go up and down I love how he looks his legs move as well he's battle damage archer I love the facial expression I actually do love the detail by the way his arms do break off you got to put them back you press this button here and voila they come off both arms now I actually love the detailing on it it's as if he was burned and He's like he was. He looked like he was burnt and shot at at the same time, and he's still alive. Like he's not dead. If you could just look at his chest there, like that looks that looks pretty dope. That looks that looks amazing. Um, they only have battle damage. Uh, chip hazard and archer. They were only supposed to have a chip hazard because it's movie accurate. But I guess you know why not put an archer in there? I mean, if whatever you're doing a chip hazard, you might as well do it archer too, right? They're both leaders and. It only makes sense, but you know, yeah, I don't have the accessories for him. He would have, he had a missile crossbow he would shoot from his hand, and he would have a spear. That spear looks so badass. I actually wish he had that spear in the film. I actually wish Archer did actually. I wish he fought a, a couple of commandos in the film before he fought Chip Hazard. You know, like I wish he, he used his crossbow and the arrows kind of like penetrated and impaled a couple of the commandos running around that would have been cool to see maybe he had a um a, a spear and he would just kind of like fight with them hand-to-hand -hand combat that would have been cool to see just warming up his combat skills before he fought chip hazard and i'm mad and disappointed that i love the commando lee i love chip hazard but i'm disappointed that archer didn't get 
a good blow or a good hit on Chip Hazard in the film. And he just like got hit. He did, he took like Archer just took all the beatings and he just fell off that telephone pole without really putting a having a fight. Like he didn't necessarily do too much for Chip Hazard. Like he didn't put up put up a fight. Um, but yeah, this is battle damage Archer. I have battle damage Chip Hazard, which I dearly love more. The con the paint art is a lot better for me. I love I dig the red RNG color. You could see in his boots. Press the button on his belt right here and his legs go flying off. It got the gun that you do not attach. It's just there for display purposes. I love the burnt area of the boot. It looks pretty dope. Like I said, he looks like he just literally in the, like this is more movie accurate where he survived the explosion of the vehicles. Um, his face just does it for me. Like his face and Archer's other face, like chip hazard and archer's face archer's facial expression here just just sells it for me just does i love it um his face articulation there articulation in all his hands spinning around 360 he brings a knife which he did use in the film and he also brings hold on a second a gun which throws discs um not really movie accurate but who cares you know it looks pretty cool you could shoot it and it launches you know shoots both of them pretty cool i actually like it i just have it for display purposes i like to kind of you know put them by my bookshelf decorate decorate it so it looks like they're all coming alive trying to fight each other in my house pretty dope the next thing we're gonna go over is brick bazooka I actually do have his other gun. It's in the box somewhere. I don't really want to look for it. I just know it's there. But, yep, articulation of the head, 360 arms, 360. Uh, he brings two guns, and the best part about it is that he could turn into a... Jeez, I shot, I shot the missile already. He could turn into a giant missile launcher himself, if you could see that right there. So... Okay. Rick Bazooka, I kind of picture him shooting at the Gorgonites, and when he runs out of ammo, he just turns into a gun himself, and he just shoots, so there it is, you know, able to shoot, but pretty cool, I like it. The next ones we're going to get is... The next ones we're gonna get here is Chip Hazard. Um, this is, oh, here we go. This is Brick Bazooka's gun. Yeah, this is his gun. Uh, Chip Hazard, I got him with the other archer that I've played with so much, this one right here. I got them both at the same time. Um, don't have the accessories, don't have the guns. He does come with a gun with like a canyon you do attach to his arm right here and he would just shoot with that and he also comes with another rifle which is for prop purposes and display so again articulation in the head the arms the legs like i love this figure like i love this movie now they have burger king actually came out with a couple of the toys i thought all the, the to those toys are just useless they're not any good they look real cheap but the only one that i thought was good was the ocula and this ocula you could actually i was actually scared of this ocula when i was younger but you could stick him to like a mirror glass and I, my dad had him in the car he would just stick him in the window inside and he would freak out people because it just looked like an alien <laughs> but it's so cool yeah this is ocula this ocula looks a lot better than the ocula that the buzzsaw tank comes with the buzzsaw tank comes with ocula he's inside here he pulls out he's attached to a gun but the ocula he don't he looks okay but it's not much you know what i'm saying so put him back in there i just think the burger king one looks a little bit more dope more realistic movie accurate you press this down and the the bus salt the bus salt would just spin around and around and around um 
the tank does not do a 360 it just stops right there and stops right here so this is the bus salt tank this is the tank at the bottom you would be able to put a figure right here like an archer or, or, you know you would you could even put chip hazard in there he'll just sit down comfortably and you know use the tank to go through it the battle scene um one of the last ones here is the i know this video is pretty long power drill cycle it comes to scratch it here he is cute little guy um this is actually a female ocula and scratcher are both females if you guys did not know that but she gets attached right here you get to put her right here in the vehicle she attaches it right there um you spin it you spin it with wheels and you could just see the power drill kind of go around and around and around you could put archer here sitting down you'll be able to go with her and you press this button and it'll shoot the missile um pretty cool you know it, when i bought it off ebay i bought it used so it the back piece is not included but everything else is you know but like i said i'll have the archer i have frankenstein which i got him in the mail as recently as today um never really had him not really one of my favorite gorgonites but um you know i needed him in my collection i it, it's a must have um it says frankenstein with pouncing battle club and interchanging limbs so basically his arm and foot i think it's on the right side you could detach them and you could put the foot on the foot area you could put the foot on the the leg on the as an arm and detach it you know one after the other you press the button and he'll slam his club down so that's pretty cool comes with a, a shield as well that's not an axe that's a okay that's the horn that you would put on the radio because he does have a horn there and it's just pretty cool like if you look at the concept art it just looks spectacular like you could have they could have made a comic book series and i would have been the first in line to purchase that you see i like how they also display the other figures each one has to, if you do have the box or you, you had the box you could remember remember that they all have their individual um breakdown of what they speak about and what the individual toy is so for instance Frankenstein specialist is communications. His, I mean, his function, excuse me, is communications. His specialty is bio expert in biology, chemistry, and physics. Once a noble and handsome warrior, Frankenstein was reconstructed into the heat of the battle from extra body parts of the Gorgonites. So he was Troplicon, if you don't know that. And they fused him with a radio because the commandos were the. This was the only Gorgonite that suffered tremendously a, break, a beatdown from the commandos and he was rebuilt into um, Frankenstein from Troublegon to Frankenstein um, his new identity gave him a freakish appearance but also enhanced his strength and sense of humor um, Frankenstein likes to cut a good joke or two before smashing or bashing commando elites with his powerful mechanica mechanized club um, so yeah pretty cool figure Cool for display now here's my favorite <laughs> this is battle changing kip killigan kip killigan is my second favorite commando elite i love kip killigan so much i actually got this at a good price i know people paid 400 500 for this guy i got that for half the price if not a little bit lower in condition in box unopened you know i just love this figure this was this is battle changing so the battle changing they only made three battle changing battle changing frankenstein which is a different version of this one and what that one is is the frankenstein he basically turns into a like a vehicle like a car in a way and his 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 appearance confuses the commandos and he just shoots a missile 
if I believe so. It's like a mixture between a, the way you look at him now, but like a car, so he's able to go on wheels. And the other one is Battle Changing Archer, which I think that Archer looks so dope. They have this one, which is the, oh, here's the Frankenstein, by the way, the Battle Changing Frankenstein. They have the, um, the Ultra Armor Archer, I'm not a fan of it because I just don't like the way it looks, honestly. And he has too many pieces of armor attached to him. You could easily lose it. I don't want to take that risk, so I'd rather not do it. Um, but yeah, the battle changing archer is this one right here. He actually converts into a giant crossbow. It's like he has like a, it looks like a bull or a cow's head, like a skull. Like the skull and a uh, part of the head and you would put it on his back and he would shoot he would shoot the missiles from the from the head the skull of that of the cow or the bull whatever it is but he has these bones that look like spears and and, and shields and that archer looks so badass but that archer and this kid killigan and frankenstein are part of the battle changing uh series and these were the last um series of toys to come out um, I'm just a little bit I mean I understand why they came out they came out with so much chip hazard so much versions of chip hazard so much versions of Archer it made perfect sense these guys are the leader I understand that but was it necessary to come up with a battle changing Frankenstein was it necessary to have two Insidiacs like you got the one I don't have and then you also have this one like if they just pick one version of that and decided not to do battle changing Frankenstein and instead come out with a battle changing Butch Me Hood and a battle changing Link Static, perfect. Like I said, Kenner slash Hasbro, they took a gamble and they wanted to market the Gorgon the Gorgonites more, but the fans love the Commando Elite a lot more. I would think since this is the last the battle changing is the last set of toys that came out by that time they should have they should have received news that the commandos were really the cash grab and they should have literally made butch me hood and link static as well as kip i give them props they made a kip killigan cool but they could have made a, a link static and a butch me hood as well that's the only upsetting part that it just gets me because they didn't make it i wish they did that then they would have had every single one of these figures every single one of these toys but they don't because they're missing those two and they and that would never that would not exist you know without and not, it's too late now it's been 22 years since this movie came out there's no way they're going to do that but i'm still thankful for it you know i still like it people complain that kid killigan has his bandana on or do rag i don't really care i actually think he looks better with this bandana and do rag. Is is it takes away a lot more from the the Superman style haircut he had in the film. But you know this this Kip Killigan is so cool. The toys that they feature in the back of this, all these toys except for Brick Bazooka uh, and Nick Nitro. So Nick Ni Nick Nitro. And Brick Bazooka, except for those two guys, every other toy that they, every other toy that they feature there, is a deluxe or a, um, a later release toy. But yeah, it says Kit Killigan converts to spinning attack mode, functions shock trooper, um, strengths, abilities, hyper, ferocious. While when battle changing, Kip is e engaged in fury. I can't even read it. it. Is engaged in a furious spinning assault. No Gorgonite wants to get in the way of his fearsome com of this fearsome commander leap. Super sharp blades with flip out from his arms spell devastation for anything and anyone unfortunately enough to get caught in his path. His only objective is to seek and destroy and battle changing Kip lives leaves nothing behind but a sheer path of destruction in his wake. Like let's look at the concept art. Like Come on, make a comic book series about this. Make a cartoon series, like, come on. 
it would be cool to to you know add humans to it but the toys alone battling each other in a comic book version would be dope i would i would pay hundreds for that and i'm a little bit disappointed that they never made a sequel of this film you know they never made a sequel people had mixed reviews oh it's supposed to be a kid's film because there's toys but they're beating and breaking each other apart families were disappointed i was just one of those kids that i loved it and and i will always love it but aside from that these are my reviews and my collection again i'm gonna do a separate video where i'm gonna open up the unboxed versions of each one but here they are my small soldiers collection yeah buddy